Apparently, uh, Brian, from what I'm being told from a member of the cult, uh, to some people at least, my visage is uh, is tantamount to provocation to a fight. Have you? Uh, I've, I've got to read this real quick. Well, actually, there's there's two different viewpoints now on this. We got a lot of emails, and by the way, folks, yes, you've been emailing Reggie's Corner, and we've got some experiences live from the people that went to All In, and there's other things. We've, we're have deluged with emails, but we've been doing six-hour podcasts on all the <laughs> wrestling, so we're going to try to catch up in the next few weeks, but real briefly, point-counterpoint on this, Paul from East Sussex, UK says, I decided to wear my corny face t-shirt to All In. Little did I know, little did he know, that it would have been more popular to have chosen an I Kill Puppies design. As I walked up Wembley Way, people pointed and shook their heads at me. <laughs> <laughs> like, We're so sorry. I'm sorry you're having this experience. <laughs> just shaking their heads. Look at the state of him. Po the pointing, it's, I think, is the worst part. Yes. Well, oh, no. <laughs> Ooh. Look. <laughs> He's being held up to public ridicule. He says one buck bitch even said that shouldn't be allowed. <laughs> Is that what they are now? Instead of the buckaroos, are they the buck bitches? That shouldn't be that. I that guess he pointed. He pointed and said that shouldn't be allowed. Allowed. <laughs> <laughs> the show in general, he says, ranged from good to dumpster fire as expected. On the whole, it was little too sport. It was a little too sports entertainment for my liking. Listening to fellow Englishmen squealing in delight at hangnail and twinkle toes made me ashamed. But now that's that's Paul's hey, experience there. Go there ahead. was a twinkle toes McFinger bang sign that was pretty visible during the pay per view event. There, there was. But I'm 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 thinking that may have been. Just a guy in, in the UK named Twinkle Toes McFinger Bang was trying to take his fucking trademark back. A lone nut, not one of the cult members? That's what you're saying? No, I think he was Osgood Finger Bang's brother. Oh. And anyway, then from uh, what from Anthony, who just claims to be from the UK. He's, he's a big man. He needs a big fucking hometown. Greetings, Jim and Brian. The apprehension of wearing my Cornet Face t-shirt at Wembley was considerable. On the internet, Cornet fans often get tossed bleeding and screaming between digital mobs, so I was worried that something similar could happen amongst 80,000 wrestling fans. I couldn't have been more wrong. I received a knowing smile with a pointed finger at Jim's face from a Bullet Club t-shirt wearer. A pair of alohas from a couple decked out in acclaimed pink. Hey, all right. One guy in a CM Punk t-shirt grabbed me and <laughs> screamed, Twinkle Toes McFinger Bang in my ear, which I feel may have been complimentary. <laughs> Hold on, stop right there. <laughs> I mean, just he was walking by and the guy just grabbed him and yelled this. He story. just grabbed him and screamed, Twinkle Toes McFinger Bang. He says, though my favorite encounter was with two pleasantly sozzled gentlemen who suggested I had balls of steel for wearing it and should rock it with pride. Well, there you go. And, and yeah, all right. what a day not to have those T-shirts on sale, but <laughs> you can get them soon, folks. Let's finish up on the... Uh, Midnight Express figures first. I think an important note that every fan base has their crazy fans, and we have a very big fan base that listens to this show. AEW obviously has a big fan base, and there are crazy fans attached to both. But there's also crossover, and there's a large audience that enjoys AEW, or at least watches it, that are Jim Cornette fans. And I like hearing that second story. I mean, the first one's just ridiculous. Just the point <laughs> the, 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 on Wembley Way of all places, walking in on Wembley Way, and how dare pointing. they desecrate Wembley Way? <laughs> but uh, but it's you know the second story I think is you know you see a lot of cornet face T-shirts on these shows for a reason, and it's not Jim Cornette listeners going there to antagonize other fans. It's listeners of the show that want to enjoy a night of wrestling. There's a crossover. 
And just think, if they ever give them a night of wrestling that they can enjoy, how happy they'll be about it. You may get more of them at that point. There you go. See, it'll, it'll, it's, it's just a never-ending cycle. You see, the problem Which, is the introduction now is the crisscrossing fingers, and then the other option is you may think the person pointing. What if the person pointing was actually coming in for a shake? <laughs> coming in with the pinky instead of the... Because the index finger is the uh, accusational point. Whereas the pinky finger outstretched would be the the brotherhood uh, offering. So it depends on depends on which finger you're getting. If the crowd's loud and you just see this guy and you don't hear the first things he's saying and you just hear, fuck you, you may not realize it's part of thank you, fuck you, or yeah. fuck them, excuse me. Yeah, or any, any variation of saying, this could start more fights than the soccer hooligans. Everybody needs to scream as loud as you can at the person that you're attempting to greet so they know what the greeting is rather than just picking it up in the middle. And See, that's what's puzzling about the Twinkle Toes McFinger Bang story. The guy just screamed it at him. That's not the greeting. That could be a, a false flag. That could be like someone who's infiltrated the group. <laughs> well, I think, I think the guy may have been sozzled before the other sozzled people that he saw. A lot of sozzling was going on at Wimbledon. That's probably why they enjoyed that show so much. There was a lot of sozzling happening. In the last week, we've had goozling and sozzling. Goozling and sozzling. Besides, they make the, the alcohol over there in the, the United Kingdom, they make that stuff in the bathtub over there, right? It's not like, you know, here in Kentucky, we have the bourbon industry. This stuff is aged 15, 20, 20 24 hours. Here in Kentucky, we have the bourbon industry and crazy women running out of their house with a gun just shooting into the air and anything they well, see. Well, <laughs> see, one, one goes hand in hand with the other. You can't, 